In this tutorial, we are going to talk about annotating types for classes. For this purpose, let's define a class called person, which has two fields, first name and last name. We pass the first name and last name to the class person via the person class constructor, that is, dunder init method. This way, our class contains some information for demonstration purposes. Of course, in the real world scenario, this would be much more complicated, and our class contains many fields, many methods, and etc. Now that we have defined our class, it's time to instantiate that class and make an object from it. For instance, I define the variable numerist and instantiate the class by passing an example of first name and last name. Here I pass numerist as the first name and as the last name I pass the string YouTube. Now the question is what is the type of the numerist variable? We can simply annotate the type of the numerist variable by passing the class name that is person in this example. Obviously, by defining the person class, we have actually defined a type, and by instantiating that class and making an object from it, we are making an object of that specific type. This way, we have actually annotated our numerist variable by using our custom type. Now I define a function, call it print underline info, and pass the person object as an argument to this function. Note that I have annotated the type of the person argument with the person type. This way, I have explicitly defined the type of the argument that is passed to the function, and this improves the code readability, in addition to having the code autocompletion for our editor. As you can see in our print info function, I print the first name and last name of the argument, which is person object that is passed to the function. Now I call the print info function and pass, for example, the numerist variable to it. As you can see, the editor will not throw any kind of error and if I run the code, the code runs successfully because I have passed the right object to the function. This way we are passing a variable of right type to our function. And thanks to type annotation, we know this before actually running the code. What if I pass a variable of another type to our print info function? We expect the editor to throw an error if we pass a variable of wrong type to our print info function. For example, over here I define a variable called jack which contains a string jack. And if I pass the jack variable to the print info function, the editor will throw an error saying that the literal jack is incompatible with person. And if I run the code by passing the jack to the print info function, I see that the code fails to run successfully because the jack variable that I have passed as an argument to the print info function does not have fields first name and last name because it is of type string and not of type person. Now I comment the line that fails to run and define another class, call it alien, which inherits from the person class or person type. In the alien class, I define the dunder method and call the super function, which actually calls the constructor of our person class. Now that I have defined the alien class, I have to instantiate it. For this purpose, I define a variable called alien underline thing and instantiate the alien class. I also annotate the type of the variable alien underline thing with the alien type and pass dummy first name and last name for demonstration purposes. Or here alien as the first name and planet one as the last name. Now if I pass the alien thing which is an object of type alien to the print info function which accepts an argument of type person, the editor will not throw any kind of error. This means that the type annotation obeys the type hierarchy and if we run the code, the code runs successfully. By obeying the type hierarchy, I mean that the alien type is considered the subtype of person. So when we annotate the type of the argument passed to the print info function as person, it also accepts the alien type. And if we pass the string variable jack, the editor will throw an error. And also do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.